Becky, and I make Underpants and Overbites, which is a diary comic all about my life. And I live in Rochester, New York, and I'm going to start by drawing my character. So she's got bangs, like me, and I'll draw her drawing at the desk, make it kind of meta. All right, I'm going to start with drawing my character, and after I do that, I'm going to move on to a little painting. And after that, I'm going to take requests from the audience. So if you think of anything that you want me to draw, um, please let me know, and I'll see what I can do. Ooh, made her a little bit cross-eyed. Maybe she's nervous. All right, and then my apartment has a little house plant in the background. I don't know if you can see it, it's behind me. There it is, it has a funny little face. All right, so that's just a quick little drawing of my comic character. And I actually prepared this beforehand so that we can paint it together. So I really, I paint everything in watercolor and I wanted to show you how I paint a sunset. So first I'm gonna get all the paper wet, well just the part that I'll be painting. And then I'm gonna apply some pigment. So this technique for watercolor painting is called wet on wet, which is we will apply wet paint to wet paper. And I'm getting everything wet except this little window because I want that to stay the same. And I'm picturing that my character is in the little cabin. All right, so I think a sunset starts at the bottom with like, I'm gonna go light to dark instead of dark to light, but I'm gonna throw some pink down. Maybe yellow, pink, orange. All right, let's see. I'm going to throw some yellow down. And I'm going to go over this a couple times, so if it's not perfect, which it never is, that's totally fine. So here I'm just getting some orange from my palette. And see how the pigment spreads? That's, uh, that's what happens when we wet the paper. I think I want to add some pink in between here. Okay, and then as it gets darker, I'm going to add a little pink above it too, so that we can transition into a purple. So there's no like exact formula on how to paint a sunset. So I just kind of play with what I think is working. Like I thought the purple to the orange was a little too big of a jump. So I wanted to smooth it out a little bit. All right, and then a sunset goes into blue.
Alright, I'm not quite at the end, but if anyone has any drawing requests, send them to me now. Or questions. Let me know what questions you have. And if not, I'm going to draw Ooh, I got a question. Do I, I can answer it while I'm painting because it's multitasking, but I got asked if I do everything traditionally or if I do some digital work. And the answer is that I make everything traditionally, but for example, if I were to scan this in, I would probably darken the black that I have with Photoshop, but otherwise I'm, I do everything analog. So I think, uh, I think a lot of people consider me sort of an art dinosaur, but there's something about focusing off the page or off the screen that really keeps me making art. So I can't make art as fast as some people, but I know that to make it traditionally will help me make art longer. Also, I can sell originals, which is sweet. Because with digital, you can't. All right. So we got a pretty solid sunset. I'm going to add in some colors where I think we could use a little bit. And also spice it up with some sort of sunset. You know, we got to get some teal in here. All right. Ooh, we got a request for a Spider-Man. I have a question about how this works as a business. And I think the biggest question in art is always, how does an artist make money? And I got to be honest, I did not make money for like two years of this. So it was just me posting comics on social media for zero money and maybe like going to an art show and then taking my prints home. But now there's enough, people are familiar enough that I do make some money and the biggest one for me is Patreon, where I have, right now I think I have like 475 supporters that pay to get an extra comic every week. But it took a really long time to implement because for a long time it was just like, you know, my aunt on there. Or, you know, and I would like spend 10 hours on a comic and then she'd be like, yay. And I should be like, oh my gosh, this is a really bad ratio. But I've been doing it long enough. So that helps. And I do have a couple books. Um, I'm actually coming out with another book in the spring of 2021 20, with Andrews McNeil, which is like a publishing company, not out of my apartment. So I'm super excited because the first two I made I just got printed at a local shop and now I, I sell them out of the apartment and yeah, I sell originals. I go to conventions like I would have been at this one, but I am at this one just virtually and I didn't have to cross the border, which is kind of nice because that's stressful, but yeah, it works. I worked in a coffee shop or I worked in coffee shops for a lot of years until I felt like this comic was popular enough for me to take the risk and quit. And it's been working. All right. I think the sunset looks pretty awesome. Oops. I got my desk all dirty. So I'm going to set that to the side to dry. And I'm going to start taking requests. And the first one I got is Spider-Man. And the one thing you have to know is I'm going to draw everything as if it lives in my comic universe. So this isn't going to be your most athletic looking Spider-Man. I don't know if Spider-Man, I mean, I guess it would have this thing, right?
think there's like a, we got a logo here. I don't really know what Spider-Man looks like. But it's kind of fun. I actually like to play that game a lot, like trying to draw what Mickey Mouse looks like in my mind and seeing how weird it looks in real life. And I feel like it has like stripes. They're like spider stuff. Now it just looks like a criminal. Okay, I got a, I think it has a spider on its thing. Uh, I'm gonna give it a patch to make it look sadder. Maybe it wears a belt? Okay, someone requested, this is, this is good, we got another request, so I can um, burn this. But someone has requested that I draw two roommates. I don't exactly know what that means, but I think it's in reference to maybe being trapped with someone in COVID-19. So I'm guessing tension is high, and they're going to be dueling it out over the dishes, because it's really just who can bear the dirty dishes longer. So we're going to have, let's make it one curly haired roommate. We'll put them in a dish stand up. Right, let's cross some arms. And we gotta put everyone in like really gross clothes because they're stuck together. So we'll put in this little undershirt. Definitely gotta be barefoot. Maybe he's got those little heart boxer shorts. And then I'm always tempted to draw the pupils, but I can't draw them until I draw the other character so we see where that character is. Let's, let's make these legs a little hairy. And actually, I kind of want the other roommate to be a dog to enhance the tension. Someone asked, how long does it take to make a strip of my comic? Because I do have my style down. But I would say the drawing part sometimes can take a long time if it's if it's new. Like if it's a new concept I haven't done before. But really it's the writing that takes an unpredictable amount of time. I've written amazing things in like 90 minutes. And then other things have taken like a whole month to write. But I'm also trying to draw faster. And when I first started this comic, I drew a comic a week for two years. And I would use like a really fancy brush pen. And I just did everything the slow way. And then I made a comic a day for 100 days. And people liked those comics so much more. And then I was like, what am I doing with my life? So now I have found somewhere sort of in between, which is like fast, but also... Um, legible in a way. But I can make a pretty solid comic, like a four panel comic in like three hours, I think. Well, maybe two hours, like drawn, inked, painted, scanned. All right, we're still going to make it about the dishes because the dog is on the counter. Give some little teeth here. Oh, and we'll do some uh, five o'clock shadow. Right, I'm 
I'm going to speed through this. Get some dirty dishes, maybe a dog bowl. Let's put some flies around it. So I almost had him like off the ground. We'll throw a dirty sock in. And the next request is a weasel or a ferret. I like how I'm given options, but they kind of feel like the same thing. And I don't know how to draw either. I think they have a long body. Start over here. I guess they probably have a nose and definitely have an overbite. Do they have little ears? This kind of looks like a part of a submarine sandwich and maybe the ferret will be drinking a tiny coffee Okay, we're gonna make this a really tired ferret. It's drinking coffee. I have no idea what ferret legs look like or if they have tails, but I'm gonna go with this kind of thing. And uh, it'll be, I think it's being played on by its child ferrets. Oh yeah, there we go. Got to bring that eyelid down. This, this ferret's got no patience left. Uh, we'll put the pot of coffee nearby. Uh, reaching for it. All right, are there any other requests? All right, I am going to plot out what to draw next, wait for any requests if they exist. But I do want to tell you that I'm really excited about my new book coming out, and it's all due July 31st. So I've got a couple months to fit it together, and it will be a collection of some of the work I've published online and a lot of work that hasn't been seen before. It'll be in stores and you can find it. I don't know, just follow my social media and I will announce it when the time is right. So I'm definitely excited about that. And just about 
making comics and doing it full time. It's kind of cool. But I'm going to draw one of my favorite things is definitely a snail. So I'm going to draw a quick one of those. I guess the eyes were up top, but I kind of made them also in the bottom. And it has pointy teeth for some reason. Also, it has tiny arms. And a nice trail of slime. And we got one more request of a chunky cat. Ooh, and a lion. So I think I got to make a chunky lion because a lion is a cat. I do not know what's going on with the legs, but I do know the tail is skinny and then it has a poofy thing on it, like a lion. All right. I think, uh, I think that's pretty much it. We'll make an angry lion. We'll make it hold a lollipop. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining me. And you can keep up with me in other places on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Just look for Underpants and Overbites. And you can get exclusive comics on my Patreon. So just look for Underpants and Overbites on the internet thing, and you're bound to find me. Thanks again for joining me, and have fun.